Let's move on to the next story. One group that has been deed radical time and time again in our history is environmentalist. There's been numerous reports of environmental movements being monitored by intelligence agencies just recently with uh, the KXL protests. Those have been monitored. Um, so there are two new environmental studies that came out just this week that again go to show that these radicals, air quote radicals, are right. And what they're talking about is correct. Um, so reading from Al Jazeera, quote, glaciers in Western Antarctica are melting at a quote, unstoppable rate that could cause worldwide sea levels to rise far quicker than previously thought, two groups of scientists said Monday. The new data would mean that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's prediction last month of a three-foot sea level rise by 2100 may have to be increased by as much as four feet, the studies said. End quote. All right, I'm not going to lie to you folks. This is Big, bad, horrible news. This is really, really frightening stuff, folks. And so here's the deal about these specific glaciers and ice sheets here. The way they're positioned, once they've started to melt, and they have, there is actually no way to stop them. There is nothing physical in place that can block this stuff from going once it's started. That's the problem with this. So uh, nothing at all. Nothing can be done anymore. This this is started. There is no stopping it. Al Jazeera actually has a quote from a glaciologist, which is, I guess, a glaciologist, a glaciologist at NASA named Eric Rigneau. He sums the situation as, quote, it has been compared to a wine bottle that the cork uh, that has a cork at the front where the cork represents the ice shelf. We're at the port point where we can say the bottle has been uncorked, end quote. So it's been uncorked and the cork is not going to go back in. There is no, abs there's absolutely no way of putting this cork back in the, back in the bottle. This wine, i.e. all of this ice is melting. So uh, drink up, Shriners, because our sea level is rising. So how much? How much How much is it going to rise because of this? Reading again from Al Jazeera, quote, The melting of the West Antarctic glaciers could have major consequences worldwide, the scientists said, and could result in an additional 1.2 meters or about 4 feet of sea level rise in addition to what has already been predicted in other studies like the IPCC report, end quote. So, and again, what we're talking about specifically is just six bits of, uh, six giant bits of ice that are up in the Western at Antarctic. And these are just six, and there's a lot more up there, but these six bits alone, these six giant bits are equal to four feet of sea level rising up. And again, you know, we've talked about this before. Once the levels actually rise, the truth is it's like a domino effect or a, or a corked wine bottle. Once the cork is out, it just keeps going and the levels are going to keep rising. Once they start to melt, other glaciers are going to start to melt. Um, it infects the entire globe. So what is the timetable on this? What, what, what are we looking at here? How soon are we looking at? Reading from the New York Times with the report on this, the Times reports, quote, the rise of the sea is likely to continue to be relatively slow for the rest of the 21st century, the scientist added. But in the more distant future, it may acceler accelerate markedly, potentially throwing society into chaos. Quote, this is really happening. Thomas P. Wagner, who runs NASA's programs on polar ice and helped oversee some of the research, said in an interview, there's nothing to stop it now, but you are still limited by the physics of how fast the ice can flow. End quote. So again, back to the thing. It's been uncorked. It's all coming. In, it's all coming into the oceans and there's no stopping it. It's going to be kind of slow just because of the physics of ice melting. But it's coming, and, and there's nothing we can do. So we're looking at probably a century, probably. Probably by 2100, maybe. 2200, a couple of centuries, perhaps. So, okay, the next question is, what does an additional sea level rise of four feet mean for the planet? What does it mean for us here in America? Reading from the New York Times again. 
Research published in 2012 found that a rise of less than four feet would uh, inuduate, in, 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 I'm saying that word long, I don't know what it means, whatever, the land on which some 3.7 million Americans live today. Miami, New Orleans, New York, and Boston are all highly vulnerable, end quote. So look, here it is again. Miami, highly vulnerable. New Orleans, highly vulnerable. New York, highly vulnerable. Boston, where I am, highly vulnerable. 3.7 million Americans. And that is at less than four feet sea level rise. Before this discovery, scientists were already looking at three feet in the near future. And now we can add an additional four feet on top of that three feet that they were already predicting. Um, it's bad. It's really, really bad. And it's happening faster than scientists thought it would. Uh, the group Climate Central actually just produced this amazing and terrifying interactive map. You can actually find it at sea level.climatecentral.org. Again, sea level.climatecentral.org. And on this interactive map, what you can do is you actually adjust the by feet the levels of the ocean rise with a slider on the side. And by doing that, you can actually watch street by street and neighborhood by neighborhood, which areas are going to be flooded, which areas are vulnerable by the sea level rise. Again, you can find this map. It's an interactive map at sea level.climatecentral.org. Um, it's really, really horrible. It's really, really scary. Start with Miami um, and, and with a few feet most of Miami is gone. I mean, it, like with, within, you know, go to seven feet, Miami's gone. Um, this is frightening stuff, but it's coming, folks. This is four feet that is unstoppable that's coming into the water right now. So despite this, despite the fact that we just received this horrific news that the melting of these glaciers are going to make our sea levels rise at least four feet, and that's in addition to the three feet predicted before, so seven feet, Despite that fact, we still lack any sense of urgency to tackle climate change. Despite that fact, we still continue to burn gas, to burn coal, to frack. And now, and now the Obama administration is actually talking about opening up a ban on exporting gas from the United States. So again, this was never about having gas and energy security for the United States. They're talking about exporting it. It's about making money for these few oil companies. I guess the good news, some of these ports that are going to export to other countries are going to be further inland, so the dirty energy will have less to travel in the U.S. before it's exported somewhere else. But look, again, back to my point earlier in this. The ones who have been sounding the warning bells on this, who want immediate action on this, are considered to be radicals. We need a hell of a lot more radicals desperately soon if we want to have a chance of humanity surviving. We'll be right back. <laughs> 